Welcome to the Afterspin, opinions from thought leaders in our state. I want to ask Brad Crone and Rick Henderson, ever since becoming state treasurer, Dale Falwell has taken bold moves to save the state health plan money and to make it more efficient. Falwell says the plan's not transparent enough. He asked hospitals to tell him what charges they make for procedures, and they, of course, gave him redacted figures, and he asked him to tell them. Uh, then he turned around and said, well, okay, if you're not going to tell me what you charge, I'm going to tell you what to charge. And he's predicting that's going to just save $300 million. Brad, you work a lot in the health care business. What do you think about this Well, plan? it's going to be an interesting uh, policy fight that we're going to see play out probably beginning early next year. Uh, if the hospitals are forced to open up their rate schedules, then the next door will be the pharmaceutical industry. Next door will be the home health industry. So the uh, like healthcare, a dominoes. Absolutely. Health care providers aren't necessarily willing to engage in that process. There's a lot of concern from the hospital standpoint that even with a rate of 177% above what Medicare is paying, and a Medicare rate is probably about 70 to 75% of the actual cost of the service. So they, they, hospitals go through cost shifting to make that up. And the private payers, the state health plan, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Aetna, Cigna, Pru, are all paying the difference for our health care delivery system. And so the hospitals are right in saying, hey, you know, let's get everybody sitting at the table before we go down this path. He's tried doing that, Rick, and <clears throat> yeah. so far as it goes, they're not buying into this. No, How not. are they going to accept it when he tells them, here's what we're going to, because it's the largest health plan in North Carolina. Yeah, it's the largest health plan in North Carolina. He, ha For one thing, he has the legal authority to do this, and what he has essentially said from day one was that the state treasurer's office has essentially been a check-writing operation for Blue Cross Blue Shield and the hospitals and all the providers, and that he needs to know, rather than signing a check that he doesn't know what he's paying for, he wants to know what he's paying for. Uh, we had a, I saw a presentation recently at Campbell Law School where uh, a New York uh, state medical official who had studied the solvency of all these plans had said that North Carolina deserves high marks for the fact that it has one of the best-funded state health plans in the country, 3%. So, wow. I mean, so we are in a lot of trouble fiscally if we do not get a handle on this. Now, Dale Falwell is going to go ahead and move forward with this. He has the authority to do it. A lot of people are going to squawk, and I'm not sure if he's going to save $300 million a year, but certainly I think the taxpayers and the fight. Fish, well, the biggest question he's going to have to, to face is how much is this going to not only affect state finances, but how is it going to affect the out-of-pocket costs that the state employees face? Because uh, he's gotten very, very good marks from state employees for keeping the pension solvent, but if the health plan starts to go south, then those, those sentiments might change pretty well, quickly. And he's running for re-election again Here's in 2020. Here's the issue that you've got. I mean, from the policy standpoint, it's a winning hand for the state treasurer. From a provider standpoint, what happens to the hospital in Roanoke Rapids? Well, you've already seen a couple of hospitals in the eastern part of the state close up because the state didn't expand Medicaid. What will be the access? You can have all the arguments you want, but if the emergency rooms start closing down in eastern North Carolina or western North Carolina because your small rural hospitals can't accommodate the change in the rate structure for their revenue stream, it's a big issue. Yeah, but then you get into <laughs> the, the, the issue about uh, UNC Healthcare and the tentacles they have all over North Carolina and Duke and uh, see there's, there's so much cross subsidization going on too, and so that's where the independent uh, or the hospitals are as independent as they can be may be in even bigger trouble, and they'll be under a lot more pressure to join the big guys. If I know Dale Falwell, he's like a dog with uh, uh, chasing a car here, uh, but he gonna, may catch it. But he, he may catch he's, it. He's, 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 he's relentless. And he's he's relentless. To figure out and the he's, power of the house. Of he's medicine. going to get this thing uh, figured out. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.